Hello and welcome back. I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and it is vlog day today. So happy to see every single one of you. So sorry I didn't do a tutorial on Friday. Last week was spring break and I just didn't get around to editing my video for the week. So, but there'll be one this Friday. So, <laughs> but I did upload a short video on how I did this. Very, very simple. All I did was just mix all my mica powders into my epoxy, smear it on and blow it around really good. And this is what came out of it. But I did put a little bit of white alcohol ink into my my white mica mixture and just added a few streaks here and there, just to give a little bit more definition and with my, my white mica, so. But I did launch a mica line. These are the six colors that came out. This was in my last chaos box. These are the sizes that you get, so I'm pretty excited about it. And I am creating uh, another tumbler, or I am creating a tumbler uh, this Friday with some of my mica powders as well. But it won't be, I mean, it'll be summery, but it won't be like beach themed like that one is because, you know, th these colors can be for any time of the year. So, but, I mean, it is going to be summery though. Anyways, but if you'd like to, you can check out those mica powders at socglitters.com. Okay, so today... I am going to be, first we're going to do the shirt I've been trying to do. I got a 100% cotton shirt. We'll see where it takes us. Maybe Sadie will kind of show it off for me later if it turns out okay. All right. But we also have um, the Beach Wave Argyle tumbler that I got started on. Don't know where I'm going with it. We'll see where it ends up with us at the end of this vlog, hopefully. <laughs> Oh, and before I forget, I found the bag that inspired me to do this kind of design that I really like. Well, it's actually a tote bag, so. But this is it. This is it. Obviously, I didn't do these colors, and you could do it in these colors, which would be really pretty. But this is what inspired me to do that. The tumbler we're about to be doing. Anyways, but yeah, there's my inspiration. <laughs> All right, well, we have a lot of stuff to do. Well, I, I mean, I do. It, you know. There's a lot of filming involved. Anyways, I got a lot of stuff to do, so <laughs> let's get started. I'm ready to wake up, prep these tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. So starting off with the shirt first, again, this is 100% cotton, like you guys suggested. I have my bleach in my little uh, condiment bottle there, and I'm just gonna drizzle that around. I also am doing up a gray shirt, and I wanted that more like uh, spiral, almost like tie-dye spiral, so that's what I'm gonna be doing the shirt next to it. That, that'll be coming up in a second so but it did really change color pretty fast a lot faster than the last shirt that I tried and this other shirt here this is just one of those Bella canvas shirts so it's not the 100% cotton so I really like the colors that that came out of it though so I just sprayed the bleach right on top of it and I kind of let it sit for a little bit and then I'm going to flip it and kind of do the same thing on the other side as well but doing these shirts are a lot of fun. So after I let them sit and develop in the sun for a little bit, I'm gonna dunk them in a bucket full of water and peroxide to kind of neutralize the bleach. I'm gonna give them a good wash and I'll show you guys at the end what they looked like. All right, over to my Argyle beach wave uh, look. Anyways. <laughs> So sometimes art can really take you on this wild adventure where one minute you feel like you know what you're doing and then next minute you have no clue what you're doing and you're overthinking it and overdoing it. And this was no exception with, with this particular tumbler. <laughs> now after I sat and I stared at it for a good 20-30 minutes, I decided I wanted to add some gold to it. Now this is one coat of epoxy over top of the waves, so there's still some texture to the waves, and I didn't sand it at all because I figured if I didn't like it that I'd be able to just wipe whatever I do away, which I'm glad I did that because I wiped a lot of stuff away. Um, I'm just saying. <laughs> So I'm using this gold mixative alcohol ink and the reason why I wanted the waves to still have a little bit of texture is so that way if I did do some type of painting like this, I could just take that alcohol ink or paint or whatever I decided to use and just kind of press it right up against the wave and it wouldn't overlap into the wave area per se. So <laughs> I, like I said, I didn't really know where I was going with this and after I was done with it, I just really didn't like it. It sat there and I looked at it and it looked at me and I was like, what am I, what am I doing here? So, 
So again, after I sat and looked at it for quite a while, I made this little template out of a piece of cardboard and I was like, kind of looks like shells. Maybe I'll try to go with that, right? So I'm drawing on a shell look. And after I sat there and looked at that, because I only did two just in case, you know, I don't like that either. So, <laughs> which it's a good idea. I just don't like the way it's coming out on this particular design. So I uh, took some rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna spritz it down really good and wipe it clean. There we go, problem solved. Moving on to the next idea. <laughs> Could this be the winner? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> so my idea with this was just to sweep that, that gold mixative just right along the, the outside of the wave. Again, just kind of adding some of that gold look to it. And after I was done doing that, it, I just, I don't know. I just really wasn't digging it. <laughs> so I thought maybe, okay, well, how about I'll just take some rubbing alcohol and I'll kind of blend everything out so that way it's not so harsh and it doesn't look like I just rubbed dirt on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but this is just one of those things, you know, I, I would never have known if I wouldn't have gave it a go. So, but now I know. So after I spent a, a good about 30, 30 ish so minutes doing all this, I still didn't like it. And I gave it another spritz of rubbing alcohol and wiped it clean once again. So I had to just kind of set this off to the side. I let it sit there. I just looked at it and I just knew I was overthinking it. Why not just go back to the bag that kind of inspired me and, and just take that as inspiration and just keep it simple. So I started doing these lines. So it looks like little rough squares inside of my, my beach triangles here. And I really am liking how this is turning out. So all I did was was rough lines, just like how I did the blue lines when I first started the tumbler. And I'm just freehanding it with my gold Posca marker. And at first I didn't like the gold Posca marker because it almost looks mustard yellow. But, I, you know, after looking at it with the colors together, I really like it. And it really depends on what angle you look at it because it does have a gold shine to it. And at first I was going to do some sort of template to make the squares on the inside a little bit more even. But I really like how it forms to how everything isn't exact. So the, you got these jagged lines and everything's not exactly straight. And so that's why I went ahead and just did it freehand so that way it kind of all had that same free flowing form to it. Now after I got all my little diamond shapes in place, I came back through and I'm going to add just a little bit more touches with my Posca marker to them. So this is pretty much just like a template, like a free form template that I got started with. And then I'm gonna come through and touch it up just even more, giving more jagged edges to it. So I just come through and just one by one, just do these little swipes all the way around the edges. So that way it has more of that, that look to it. But I'm so happy that I decided to just wipe it clean, stop overthinking it, and just keep it simple and keep it with the pattern that I kind of originally had in my head. But yeah, the, this is this is what she's looking like, and I think this this is a keeper for this one. I won't wipe it clean this time. <laughs> All right, so I, I put some epoxy. Oh, I'll show you my shirt in a second. I put some epoxy on that tumbler. This is how she's looking. I really, really like how that, that turned out. Very nice. This is how I did the bottom. I signed the bottom and everything. Now the next thing I wanna do, I wanna see if possible, I can make a coaster to match it. I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll definitely have to see on that one. So maybe that's a next weekend thing for us. So this is how my shirt turned out. I, don't, I can't really get it into focus there but I really like how that turned out I like how the the patterns of it turned out I just did the basic almost like tie-dye just twirled it put some bleach on it and there we go and CD shirt turned out really cute too it really looks a lot like Clementine it has like that tortoisey tortoise shell look to it there we go <laughs> but she said she really really loves it because it really does match her so I'm happy that she likes it and before I let you guys go, I feel like I haven't done a little giveaway in a while. And because I'm so excited about my new mica powders, I would like to give one of you guys a chance to win all six of my new colors here. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and just get, leave me a comment down below. Just a hi, hello, how are you? Or whatever you'd like it to be. And I'll pick one person randomly next Sunday to win this full set of mica powders. But I think that's gonna do it for me today. I hope all of you have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Oh.